92.5 ABC Central Coast. Uh-oh. It's uh, just coming up on 11 to 3. We've got our uh, fishbowl featured artist for the next one fortnight, I, I would assume, uh, Yanni. Yeah, we keep our artists up yeah, on a couple the of weeks. Um, Catherine McEwan. Can I just say, Catherine, that's magnificent. Thank you. I'll let, uh, I'll let you and Yanni discuss it uh, and, and talk about it, but I can tell you now there are going to be people just standing and uh, having a very long look at that. It's, it's really wonderful. It's very they real. can take it home if they want. Really? Really? Yeah. I got, no, I, 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 my bags first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we, we can, but we don't. Um, yeah. yeah, well, that's an amazing thing. How did you get him to sit so long? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I wonder if photography. Ah, yeah. yeah. So, you're also, um, Catherine's here to talk about her art, but also she's involved with the Five Lands Art Trail, which is a monthly thing, isn't it? Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. We yeah. have made the dates more exclusive this year, mm -hmm. so they'll be more special. So people will really circle them on the calendar and make a point of yeah. coming along. The next one's on April the 7th. April the 7th. Am I picking 7th. up an accent that's not too dissimilar to the rest of the people in the studio? Uh, northern part of that. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Where are you from? Uh, born in Toronto. All oh, right. Yeah. Oh, yes, of the northern, northern part yeah, of yeah. that. Yeah. With all the snow, which is why I'm here. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't blame you. Um, so that's, uh, what was it, April... April, April 7th. April 7th. Yeah. Do any artists have their studio open anyway? Um, uh, do you have a website where people there, will go to Yes, um, you can go to the website which is fivelandsarttrail.com and uh, you can um, contact the uh, any of the artists by and see their studios at any time by so appointment. Five Lands Walk. All my phone numbers are up there. Beautiful. And now this, this magnificent piece of work you're painting there. Um, where would you put yourself, genre-wise? Are you a realist, a hyper-realist, or are you just Real, a painter? Realism. Yeah. Realism. Yeah. It's about as real as you get. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've noticed that your work is always from the water. At the moment, it's yes. It's like you're in the water yeah. with swimming. What brought that up? Being well, out of the snow? I, I have... Uh, <laughs> yeah, a nice change. Oh, uh, well, this is actually from an artist residency in Mexico. Oh, yeah. So it was the perfect place to catch people in water because they're in water, you know, seventy-five mm. percent of the day. Yeah. Um, but uh, I've been dealing with body language for you know, forever, mm. and um, the water adds a new element <coughs> to it all. It, uh, yeah, it just. Um, I find humans like to look at humans in the arts. They'd rather look at a painting of a person than a building, which just really bothers me, because I like to paint buildings. But, <laughs> but um, how do you find your sitters? Whether you just uh, take photos, or you see a moment, you just... This, uh, this group, I, I just had an exhibition of about uh, 14 paintings, and this group were all fellow artists at the residency, Aye. and people in the pool. Mm. And I would just, I'd be either in the pool or snapping from the side. Mm. And and where's, where's your studio? Um, I'm at uh, in Avoca Beach at the moment. Right. And um, but I will be. I just bought a house. Lovely. Oh, congratulations! And just to give uh, people an idea, listening, <laughs> the uh, the painting is of uh, of a man in the water. Mm. Uh, but all we've really got in the, in the top uh, in the top for quarter uh, or fifth, perhaps, of the painting is is the man's shoulder. Uh, and, uh, and the side of his face with his hand covering most of his face um, above the surface. But then there's, uh, then there's the reflection, or, or not the reflection of his body, but the, uh, the image of his body beneath, beneath the ripples of the water, which mm -hmm. is fantastic to look at. It's, mm. it's lovely. It's brilliant. Well, it makes, he becomes then a universal, mm. you know, and whatever uh, connections you make when you see it, um, that's one thing with the body language. It's why I don't mm. include the face. Mm. Uh, but the water adds this whole other um, emotional level to mm. it. Fantastic. It's Where fantastic. can we see more of your work other than here at the fish bowl? Mm -hmm. uh, well, on the art trail. You can come to my studio okay. anytime. Mm. And uh, I'll be putting some work up in um, Redfern at the Wolfpack Hotel. Down in Sydney? Yep. Yeah. Um, well, that's good. I'll be up for March. Uh -huh. Do you always work large? I mean, this is a fairly big, no, big no, painting, this one. No. Uh, shapes and sizes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. She's a, a modern girl. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I think we're very lucky to have that one for the next couple of weeks in the studio yeah. here. We'll get Uncle Ron to print out a 
Yeah, we'll put some details, details there on the glass as well. So when you walk in past, you'll see a lovely painting from Catherine McEwen. And as she's mentioned, if you uh, check out the Five Land uh, Art Trail, you'll be able to find uh, her studios available uh, to, to wander around in and have a look at uh, some of her other works as well. Good stuff. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for lovely. having me. Thank Catherine you. McEwen there on 92.5. ABC Central Coast is part of uh, today's Smart Art. Someone reached in and grabbed it.